Hi guys, you're looking at the Mercedes GLS, which used to be called the Mercedes GL, and it only was introduced to Singapore in 2016. Of course, the new name GLS suggests that it's the biggest car of its range. The G is, of course, Mercedes SUV range, and at 5.12 meters long, it's a really big car, 1.85 meters high. So, very few things are going to tower over the GLS when it comes to on-road presence. Of course, people will magically give you away in a car of this size. Now this is Mercedes seven seat SUV and what we like about it is that there's a lot of automation on board. It's got Mercedes Drive Pilot which is a bit of the steering and uh, adaptive cruise control which uh, keeps the distance between you and the car in front of you. But what we also like is that unlike some seven seaters, wrestling with the seats is not an exercise in uh, frustration. So let's have a look at what's inside the car. I'm gonna go around the back first. Open it up. So I said seven seat SUV, and um, one thing we really don't like about seven seat SUVs is how hard it is to fold the seats. But these ones do it automatically. Ooh, okay, left side. Ta da! Wow. Ta da! Cool. I'm gonna put these back up because I'm gonna get back in in a while. Uh, what is also very cool is the second row. Now this particular unit has onboard entertainment, but what is cool is that you don't need to do anything to fold the seats away. Woohoo! That is cool. Now I'm gonna get in and show you how much space there is. Uh, I'm about 1.73 meters tall. I fit into the GLS pretty much quite comfortably. It's not even touching the roof. So there you have it, Mercedes GLS. We're going to do a complete review in carbuyer.com.sg very, very soon.